Hello everybody and welcome to my channel, Love, Truth, and Wisdom Tarot Guidance. I am here today to bring you another pick a card reading and today's topic is going to be what is next in love. Um, we have four piles here. We have the star pile, the flame pile, the rainbow pile, and the sun pile. So feel free to pick more than one if you feel guided to do so. Um, I am doing personal reading, so I'll leave that information down below if you feel guided to get a personal reading from me. And I am doing a special right now where you get six true love uh, messages from my handmade deck, plus an intuitive summary for $15 for the month of August. So I'll leave that information down below as well as so you're, if you're interested in that and how to get a hold of me and we can book that for you. Um, I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers and all my, you know, subscribers that started with me and all the people who follow and like and share everything you guys are so kind and so sweet i love you guys so much and i'm so glad these readings are resonating with you i love this thank you for helping me support my channel and you know for you just supporting me doing this i'm just i'm so happy thank you guys so much um let's see i hope you guys are doing well um I feel like that is all I have to say. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. And I will see you at your reading. Okay, my first pile. So if you chose the star pile, this is your reading for um, what is next for you in love. And the first thing I'm getting here from your cards is communication. Your oracle messages here, we have the answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. Gemini is all about communication. And then we have receive with love and appreciation. Gracious acceptance is a way to show love. So I do feel like someone is coming forward to communicate with you. Um, someone is going to express their love to you. Someone is going to is wanting to give this relationship a chance and wanting to work on this relationship with you. I do see... Um, or I just feel from this receive with love and appreciation card that someone wants to do something nice to you or some type of act of kindness. I do feel like this person just really wants to express their love. That could be the act of kindness. But I feel like there may be some resistance on your part of allowing this person to express their love for you because of something they've done in the past, um, which is why we have forgiving and learning here as well. So I do feel like this person who wants to communicate with you and... Um, the answer, it's like, it's almost like this person wants to communicate, it's giving you the answers because with the answers you need are coming, this person is going to give you the answers you need and whether or not they want to continue on this relationship, they want to give this a chance, they want to be serious, they want to move forward or, you know, or not. So I do feel like you've been waiting on that for quite some time or you never really get a full response or a full answer from this person. And so maybe you've walked away and in turn, this person has been hurting and you've been hurting because you can never really communicate properly or this person can never really communicate properly on what they want or express love to you. Or maybe this person's just been really inconsistent and in and out of your life. But definitely I do see them coming in with some type of forward communication there um there it's a completion because this is the full moon in gemini and full moons are about release completion um surrender and just letting go so this person is going to very much communicate with you like they are ready to communicate they're ready to work on this relationship now i don't know what well, says work on your partnership so in terms of like where this relationship will go moving forward because we do have forgiving and learning here i do feel like you both are going to start over within your relationship meaning you both are going to forgive each other and learn from the past and kind of just like small steady steps to making this relationship maybe the type of commitment that you both want i do feel like one person wanted one thing and the other person wanted something else and that was like where the miscommunication or like the discord or the challenge was um but you both i do feel like you both want to work on this relationship i do feel like your person wants to work on this relationship but it may not just be in the way that you think you know i feel like you could want like a full commitment from this person and you want this person to be your boyfriend or girlfriend or something and this person is at the place where in terms of what they believe or what they think right now of working on your partnership is is them expressing love them expressing forgiveness them learning from their mistakes in the past maybe not a full-blown commitment is what i'm saying from this situation i don't know if you're gonna get a full-blown commitment from this person but you are gonna get some type of communication that um surrounds like that kind of stems from them wanting to continue on 
in this partnership, but in a new way. It may not, like I said, it may not be in a full-blown commitment way. And that's okay. And if that's not good enough for you, you can have the complete power to walk away from and be like, I want a full-blown commitment. I want, you know, the title. I want the label and all that stuff. I'm not just going to be like, you're not just going to come in and out of my life and all that fun stuff. So I do feel like this person wants to learn how to be in a relationship. I do feel like this person feels like, or even you both have to learn how to be in this relationship together. I do feel like this is maybe a challenging relationship, not in the sense that it's a lot of like difficulties, but just like you both challenge each other, but you challenge each other. You may not see it this way, but you challenge each other for the better to grow, to learn and to evolve. And I feel like that has been like a very, I don't know why I want to say harsh lesson, but it may be not harsh, but just a very difficult lesson on how to deal with this person, how to be in a relationship with this person. I do feel like this person just wasn't very communicative. And even if this person was like an air sign or a Gemini and Geminis are very talkative and communicative. And when it comes to like expressing love, this person just fell short. Like they just weren't comfortable or didn't know how to express love, which was like, I'm sensing like the main issue within this relationship and so now they are ready because the answers you need are coming they are going to give you an answer on whether or not they want to make what they want to do moving forward and and whether they not they want to work on this partnership and they do but I just feel like it's from a place of like healing like a healing place like they want to heal the relationship before they fully jump in into a full-blown commitment if that makes sense they want to they want to release and heal the past they want to talk about the past they want to like you know be more present and and take things day by day step by step type of stuff i do feel like a very slow but moving forward type of energy coming forward from this person um in your relationship because i do feel like this person or both of you have like healing um it, um, childhood wounds I'm getting here because this person could not express love or you were having a hard time expressing love I don't feel like it was you so much uh, maybe but I do feel like this person just was maybe uncomfortable with expressing love or accepting love receiving love which had nothing to do with you I just think that's just how this person was like um program seems weird but like just how yeah just how this person was like um, programs or just you know how this person just grew up in their environment they just didn't grow up in an environment where expressing love was let's say like natural or like the best like the first thought of like how to express yourself you know I just feel like this person's usually very logical very pra like pragmatic maybe just not very emotional when it comes to like anything and just when it comes to love they just have a hard time expressing love but um, I think you've influenced this person a lot. Um, if you separated from this person or like decided to walk away from this person, you you doing that has influenced this person where they have realized and, and thought a lot about themselves and what they have done. And this person, I just feel like wants forgiveness and wants to, and wants to heal and wants to move forward because I do feel like this person misses you. They miss holding you and they just miss being with you. They miss like like being around you I feel like you make this person really happy and they just want to forgive and forget the past like I said and they want to learn from their mistakes and they want to do better moving forward but they do need to take this slow they do need to take their time with this they do need to kind of like just accept the fact that they like muffed up you both muffed up and you know this is just a relationship where there's a lot of learning it's almost like a learning curve I'm getting where there's a lot of learning and there's a lot of work and like relationships all relationships take work and learning but I feel like between you both this is like one that is like very very not hard it's not like impossible but it is hard because I just think you both are so different but like you know opposites attract type thing like you both are so different in the way you approach love the way you express love the way you love in a general sense that I just feel like a lot of the times maybe in the past it got you know misunderstood or hurt feelings were hurt because one person didn't express love the way the other person wanted the person to express love you know what I'm saying it's just almost like you both have different love languages and you didn't know and so you just thought like oh this person doesn't care about me because they don't do this this and this but maybe it just wasn't their love language maybe that's just not how they express love especially with this receive love and appreciation like graciously accept is a way to show love I do feel like maybe like I do feel like the feminine just has a hard time 
like um accepting the love that this person gives them so if you're watching this and you're in feminine i do feel like you have a hard time maybe accepting this love because it's not the way that you would show love it's not the way that maybe you feel comfortable like receiving this love and i do feel like because this person in the past wasn't really expressive with love they maybe showed it through like like logical ways or pragmatic ways you know what i'm saying like it wasn't really emotionally vulnerable in terms of expression but now this person wants to express love but i do feel like this is going to be something they have to learn to continue on doing like this is a new challenge for them and they want to do that for you because they really want to give this relationship a chance so i hope i hope this makes sense but basically here it's saying like you know let me just like tune in it's almost about like respecting each other's i'm just getting this thing about like respect like respecting each other's time knowledge and energy um it's like appreciating little things that's what i'm getting so appreciating the little things i don't know how expressive this person is going to be or how or how this person is even going to express their love it honestly could be very like passionately because we do have the king of wands as your tarot here and um very practical very grounded and we do have the four of swords well, however they express it though it's going to be passionate but it's going to be very healing with the four of swords and i do feel like you're going to decide to either um continue this relationship and move on with this person and continue to work on this partnership or you're just going to forgive this person because it's still not what you want learn from the past accept that this is how this person is and just move on to really get the type of relationship and the emotional reciprocation that you want um so i see those two things happening but definitely this is like all about the more gracious you can be and the more like showing gratitude to this person that you can be the better that this is gonna go now i'm not saying you have to like accept what this person gives you like listen to your intuition but if this person really isn't giving you what you really need which is like emotional connection emotional vulnerability then you have to leave this person behind that's what i'm saying is what, I'm, is what i'm saying and that's what i'm seeing with your tarot cards um now if this is if this person expresses love and they're trying and you see that they're trying and you want to work with this person because you want to see where this goes and you just want to learn you want this you want this person to learn and you want to learn how to accept you know gifts of love because i do feel like you have a hard time accepting love i don't think it's all of this person um just if it's not what you want in your head in terms of like love then you kind of just dismiss it even though it is a form of love it's just not what you want so i i do think that there's like some challenging things here going on and i do think it stems from like inner childhood wounds like i don't know why i just feel like both of you were taught how, um maybe not the healthiest ways on how to receive love and how to give love and i do feel like for some of you you could be a little bit maybe not as appreciative when it comes to people and what they express and what they give to you because it's not exactly what you want which is fine but it's also also it's also about like appreciating that this person is actually giving you and offering you something you know it may not be what you want but it is an offer and it's 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 just like an act of kindness to just accept it now if you just if you accept it that's fine and you still you know want more that's fine but you just dismissing it is where it's like getting a little bit kind of unhealthy and just kind of you know just it's not really learning how to forgive learning how to appreciate like i don't know i'm just i'm just getting like there's like an appreciation gratitude issue going on here whether it's coming from you or your person um and so that's why the forgiving like learning how to forgive learning how to receive learning how to love learning how to appreciate love that you are given is coming up here which is with working on your partnership i think that's what you both need to work on is how to express love how to understand each other's love languages and how to forgive and and not take everything so personally when this person doesn't show love the way that you want and learn to accept this person's expression of love and just you know you both learn how to to talk each other's love languages but also appreciate the love languages that is already innate within you you know what i'm saying so for an example um 
so let's say this person expresses love through acts of like service so they like wash dishes or you know do like get your car cleaned or wash your car or something like that and you you know are just a person that loves um communication you love when someone just says I love you just randomly or texts you just randomly I love you or calls you just to say I love you all that stuff and so that maybe was the issue between you both and so not saying to like you know just because this person doesn't ex- say I love you doesn't mean they don't love you you know it they show it in a different way now this person is learning how to um speak your love language and I do feel like you're going to appreciate it and you're going to love it but it is something they have to work on it is something they have to consistently do and you need to work on expressing your love the way that they receive for their love language if that makes sense so like i said this person has acts of service start doing things of acts of service you can continue to express your love because i do feel like maybe you're an expressive person or whatever your love language is but learning new basically learn new love languages i think is like the best thing i can say through this reading it's like you both need to learn each other's love languages forgive the past because it was just misunderstandings and it it wasn't that you both didn't love each other it's just that you both were just kind of stuck in your ways of like i want love express like this i want it like this and you know it wasn't happening so you left or you walked away or it just was a lot of difficult challenging stuff um but it wasn't because you both didn't love each other you both this person really loves you this person wants to work on it this person wants to give it a chance and learn how to be in a relationship with you basically so that's what I'm saying for that. That was a weird message, but someone needs to hear it if that resonates with you. Um, but other than that, I do feel like this person just wants to talk to you and make a romantic gesture towards you. It is going to be something really passionate um, and very um, like like they want to show you off or they want to show you something. They want to gift you with something. It doesn't have to be like words. It could be like an actual gift that they are serious and that they want to commit to you. But whatever it is, it's going to be very healing. Like I said, very grounding. Um, they've thought a lot about this offer. They thought a lot about communicating this and telling you this or giving you this, working on this relationship. I do feel like they have done a lot of healing. They're not done with the healing, but they have done a lot of healing and there's a lot more healing that needs to be done between you both. This person is still working on coming into balance within themselves and continuing to um, work on leaving things that no longer serve them or make them emotionally happy or spiritually happy behind so that they can have a new future with you. I do feel like I was getting this in a little in like when I was talking before about the love languages and stuff that you may have broken this person's heart now it may not they may not show you that they may tell you that to be honest I am getting that like they may tell you like you broke my heart when you left or something like I said this person misses you is really sad because you know maybe they were trying or maybe I just feel like there's just a misunderstanding and this person got heartbroken and I feel you were heartbroken too but there was just a misunderstanding and it just needs to be cleared up and it's going to be cleared up through expressions of love gestures romantic gestures dates you know having a date night or something like that they just want to make up with you I also feel like they just want to make up with you and they want you to be open to receiving what they do it's not going to be perfect and it may not be exactly what you want but it is sincere because if we have a king here so this king is ready to embrace commitment is ready to embrace you know a real relationship they have to work on a few things and there's some things that you both need to work on together in terms of like communication and whatnot but they are ready to kind of embrace this new idea of a relationship and and be more emotionally open and be more receptive and change old habits and not be so indifferent anymore and like i said continuing to move forward and and wanting this like almost like you're their wish fulfillment they are leaving and have left things behind because they love you so much and because it wasn't fulfilling them anyways but you are their like ultimate wish fulfillment they just want to move on i do feel like this could be a person from the past coming back in um but definitely they just they want to move forward so i do see here like what's next for you in love moving forward expressions of love definitely communication very very soon um 
you know, a lot of forgiving, a lot of learning, a lot of healing, a lot of talk about the past, just a lot of, you know, very much needed work in this relationship to make it happen, to make it move forward and to leave the past behind. I do feel for a lot of you, you're going to leave the past behind and you're going to work on this relationship and move forward with this person because this person just wants to make up with you they want to give you the love and compassion that you have given them in the past and express this to you but in the past they just didn't feel good enough like I said this person was dealing with like a lot of stuff that I don't think you were aware of and so you just assumed maybe this person didn't love you or vice versa I feel like you both have just been through a lot um together and apart and you're just ready to kind of make amends with each other and like make amends within your life and have a better relationship with yourself so you can have a better relationship with this person because I do feel like you both really miss each other and I do feel like this is also like a true love connection a true love relationship so this is really really positive to see I really like this this is a good spread um good things are coming movement is coming movement forward healing groundedness communication abundance Um, because of this king of wands passion you know just a lot of a lot of good things so i'm gonna leave it here i hope this was helpful if not you can pick another one of my piles if you want additional messages or something else or more that resonates with you i want to say thank you guys for watching so much i love you guys so much and i will talk to you guys later take care okay pile two so if you chose the flame emoji this is your reading for what is next for you in love um okay so i was getting like a lot of different messages so i feel like a lot of different people are gonna be like situations um a lot of people in a lot of different situations is like coming up here so the first thing i see here is that for some of you you're going to be um someone wants forgiveness so someone is going to apologize or ask for your forgiveness for something that they've done um i do feel like this person uh is has like unexpectedly like this person never expected to love the way that they to feel the way that they do for you like they love you and so it kind of like came out of the blue or something for them and so they want your forgiveness because maybe you have discussed how much you love for this person in the past and this person didn't reciprocate it and so now they have discovered i actually do really love you and can you ever forgive me for not knowing it when i did when you did in the past so that's one message coming through for like i feel like a small group of you um if that resonates so the first thing i see here is with don't let pride get in your way full moon in leo and then we have spend quality time together listen and talk to each other so i do feel like for some of you you have been in the friend zone with someone or someone has been a you've had romantic feelings for someone but haven't expressed them because you're afraid that this person doesn't feel the same way for you um but that friendship cycle is ending and i do feel like either this person is going to express how they really feel about you or you are going to express how you finally feel about this person because with the spend quality time together it says listen and talk to each other so communication about feelings is coming up here this was similar to pile one but a different vibe because i feel like this vibe is more like friends becoming more than friends or something like that or like yeah or just like there has been never a discussion about romantic feelings whatsoever and now i feel like romantic feelings are developing between you both and that needs to be discussed um however i do feel like someone's pride has been getting in the way or was in the way or may still be in the way because we do have keep an open mind here so there's something going on with this person or this next step in your relationship that needs you to have an open mind because i do feel like this person is different from your usual type they could be very like charismatic or very like um very popular or just a like fire sign like they could be a leo or they could just be really like attractive or something and you just feel like maybe you're no you're not good enough for this person because this person's so attractive how the how could they ever like you have romantic feelings for you there's just just, or or just you know you're not attracted to those types like maybe it's a macho type person whether it's a male or female or just an alpha female or an alpha male and that's not usually your type but something about it is like i don't know you just really like this person i feel like this person is a wish this person makes you happy this person 
you just you just really have been like yearning for this person like and this person has no idea or this person has been yearning for you and you have no idea um very much could be the same thing either or this is general so take what resonates but i do feel like there's been a yearning someone both of you have romantic feelings for each other and they haven't been discussed and so now is the time to discuss it full moons um are all about releasing surrendering letting go um so this person is going to release how they feel finally let go and stop holding it all in and really tell you how they feel so i do feel like I, I don't know I'm just getting there's been a dilemma that could be the dilemma um both of you are this person not being able to express how they feel because their ego is getting in the way because they either think you're too good for them or they're too good for you but they're coming to realize like I said in the beginning like they're coming to realize that they actually really do love you and they don't care about appearances or how you look or who you are or what you're whatever they just actually really really love you and really really care about you they really want to be in this type of commitment with you we do have the four of wands here and that's all about commitment twin flame soulmate type energy so this could be a very significant relationship a very significant person in your life um that started out as a friend and maybe it started off as a friend because you never saw yourself falling in love with this person or vice versa this person never saw saw them falling in love with you um and so yeah i don't know i just oh my god i just lost my train of thought you know why because i do feel like this this is like more about you keeping open mind about them not the other way around because i keep getting that message it could be for some but for most of you this is about you knowing that you deserve love you deserve this person you deserve this commitment this relationship and maybe you didn't like this person in the past or maybe you just felt like this person was too good or you were too good for this person but you don't even care anymore because i feel like your feelings are getting too strong now where you can't hold them back where you can't keep them a secret where you can't suppress them anymore and this needs to be talked about you guys need to spend some quality time together and i do feel like you need to keep an open mind but you're still a little nervous about whether this is the right thing because this person is so different from you but you know you deserve love you know you're lovable and that i do feel like you could be getting oh you could be getting an inkling that this person has romantic feelings for you too but they're just too shy or too nervous to say something about it so it's a seem it's a very like i don't know it could go back and forth i'm getting your energy if you're watching this and then your person's energy but either way um i just feel like I don't know there's just support and solutions coming to this relationship so and i do feel like the solution is expressing your feelings finally like you expressing your feelings i'm really getting that strongly like not this person and i feel like this person will be listening wanting to listen and will be intrigued and very much reciprocate because of the four of wands the nine of cups and the chariot here like those are all really really positive cards so this is definitely I don't know I just feel like an urge like you need to do this like you need to do this they need to hear it and for some of you I feel like you could have worked with this person for you know what I'm saying like this person was not a romantic interest to you whatsoever in the beginning and now they are and you just need to say it you need to discuss it you need to talk about this um you want this to work out i feel like your person wants this to work out as well they just you both want to work something out maybe you both are really prideful or like really like ego driven like you both are like a lot you both could be leos or you both are like the same sign kind of and like that could be you know a difference that you don't really like that could be something to keep an open mind to like you both are the same and that's kind of challenging because maybe you both are like a lot and very powerful and very like alpha people so that's something that maybe you thought like i could never be in a romantic relationship with this person but you just developed you just started to this person did too you both are keeping an open mind about it i feel like that's what i'm getting like you both are on the same page like i'm reading both of you both of your energies like you both are on the same page here um so no worries about that you both want some type of conclusion some type of commitment some type of union stability just some type of good celebration especially with the nine of cups this is something you both 
you you both are going to be really happy together if you decide to move this forward this is and i do feel like you both are going to decide to move this forward because the chariot's here so you both are going to be really happy together it's going to be a celebration um a commitment or something i do feel like sense a commitment of some sort whether you both are going to move in together or something like that because you both want this to work um i just i don't know why i'm getting this like hesitancy like and I, it's because of like some pride or ego stuff or like some self-esteem or vanity issues or something like that there's just some type of like like hesitancy about this new level of commitment or this yeah this basically this new level of commitment so if you were friends you want to be more than friends that's a new level of commitment so there's some type of hesitancy about that and I don't know I just feel like it's because both of you are maybe kind of closed-minded or still like is this gonna work we're too much alike or we're too different either way it's just this is not your usual type for both of you you both usually don't go for people like each other <laughs> if that makes sense and it's just causing kind of a lot of like actually it's not causing a lot of confusion it's just causing a little bit of hesitancy with expressing the feelings because i do feel like once you both decide to express feelings for each other it's just gonna be like okay boom we're in this together like we're committed we're like moving in together or we're in a relationship or, or like you're my boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever the case may be like it's just gonna go like step by step by step like full-blown like relationship so it's not bad i just i just this keep an open mind is just kind of like um almost like we'll see type of energy but i feel like the decision has been already made by both of you so this could be like a way <laughs> for some of you i feel like this keep an open mind is like a way to keep things like fresh and like light and kind of like mysterious like you both kind of play off like oh we'll see or let's just keep an open mind and see what happens but you both have already decided like we're in this together like I want you you want me I don't I want this to work I want to be together I want this new level of commitment but you both are kind of playing it cool kind of thing because I do feel like you both have really strong feelings for each other that just haven't been expressed like I said in the beginning like it's just getting so overwhelming that you can't keep it in anymore and it's just like yeah for some of you both of you have like um had self-esteem issues in the past which is also hesitancy so when it comes to like romantic relationships so you both have just had problems with like um expressing yourself and like accepting yourself and knowing that you're good enough for a relationship and just or only thinking you're gonna be in this type of relationship or you can only be with this kind of person and you both kind of are like breaking those rules which is scary because you've never been in this type of relationship with this type of person you know what I'm saying? You've never been in a, in a relationship maybe where, you know, this person treats you like a king or queen. Like, you always thought, like, oh, it's it's gonna, just going to be your basic, like, we're friends who fell in love. But this is, like, different. This is, like, kind of, like, romantic, passionate type of... You both are, like, very headstrong and very both, like, in love with each other. Like, maybe you both never thought you would be in love in love in a relationship for some reason like i don't know just some of both like your ideas about love have changed um because have changed because you met each other like before you had certain ideas about love and then you met each other and you still had those ideas but now those ideas are changing because you guys are in love with each other i hope that makes sense but yeah that's that's what i'm getting so yeah, I think this is all I see for you guys. So what's next for you in love is definitely spending time together with this person. Don't let your pride get in the way. Don't let your low self-esteem or like if you have low self-esteem, but don't let your like lack of worth or value stop you from going after the love that you deserve and stop you from expressing yourself to this person because it is going to be reciprocated and this person does feel the same way. Um, this person makes you very happy and you make this person very happy. I just think it needs to be like, ba you need to balance your, your emotions when it comes to expressing your feelings. Cause like I said, I do feel like it's overwhelming how much you love this person or just feel for this person in terms, and your feelings are real and worth exploring. Both of you have real feelings that are worth exploring. And maybe that's the keep an open mind that you just need to explore them. But I honestly really feel you both have decided that you don't want to be with anybody else. So that's really positive. I like it. It's a very positive spread, but just there is like, 
you know, the keep an open mind could go either way. It could just be you both kind of playing shy and just being like, okay, we'll see. But you both already decided in your hearts that you want to be together. Um, and then the open mind thing could just be like you both are so different or so much alike that you're just kind of worried about if this is going to really work out. If you both can do this because of whatever beliefs you have about love and like relationships and the person that you think, quote unquote, you're supposed to be with. So yeah that is what i see for you guys so i'm going to leave it here i feel like this was really a specific message but maybe not so i hope this helped or you got some clarity or some guidance from it um if not you can check out another one of my piles i want to say thank you guys so much i love you guys so much thanks for watching and i will talk to you guys later take care okay pile three so if you chose the rainbow pile this is your reading for what is next for you in love and okay so first thing i got when i was shuffling your cards i get super lightheaded and like i just feel like this connection is like high level soulmate like this is like your twin this is just like a very like deep and strong soul connection you have with this person like we have the union of hearts it says a love connection defies explanation like exactly that's how i feel like you can't even explain it like it's just so third eye opening like awakening type of vibe like this is your person like this is definitely your person so like the first thing so yeah that's the first thing i want to say um i do feel like there's been a little bit of because we have the energy is gaining momentum so that means that there's there there hasn't been a full like completion of this relationship or like a full like groundedness or a full like like it's it's still kind of moving or so you could just have met this person or this could be something that you just started to n get to know this person and date this person and you're just like you feel such a strong connection to this person but you're just like what is this what am i feeling like this is so weird like you feel like you you felt like you've known this person forever and you could just have known them for like a month or a week or like a couple days or something and you're just like this feels so weird but so strong like you feel so much passion for this person and i just feel like you both like um just there's so much passion maybe a very also i'm getting very strong sexual passion so i don't know if you guys have like done that both together yet but like i'm just feeling a very strong sexual attraction um for some i'm getting like a lot of sexting or a lot of like sending each other pictures or something like that like there's just been a it's just it's just very very strong like you both like your hearts like sing for each other type strong um i do feel that if you have met this person this person hasn't been the most consistent i feel like maybe this person travels a lot or lives abroad or you met this person online or just you know you both don't live close or near each other but you still feel this like strong intense connection with one another um i don't think you've discussed maybe how much how strong you feel for both like i don't th maybe you haven't discussed like that you feel like this is your soulmate like you both feel like you're each other's soulmates i don't know if that's been discussed yet but you feel it you know and when you're together you just sense it and you both know it but it hasn't been something that has been discussed i do feel like this person or like you know could be in and out of your life like it's not like i just feel like it's not there yet it's not ready yet it's not ready to fully commit to like a full-blown like you are my person you're my soulmate i want to live with you and have babies with you and marry you or if that's what you want like you know it's still like gaining momentum it's still like you're still dating or getting to know this person and still like you know figuring out things with this person but you just feel such a strong spiritual soul connection with this person so i just want to let you know if that resonates with you you're not crazy it's just this is a very high level soulmate possibly a twin flame i would say without a doubt like this is just someone that is very much part of your soul family that you were destined to meet like this is just your person i do feel like you could travel with this person a lot if that's something that you can do or this person just likes to take you out and explore different areas explore different places um if this person lives abroad they want you to come visit them they want you to like come see them or some if you can i mean given what's going on in the world you know um they don't have to live abroad but they could just live in like a different city or a different state or something like that and they just want you to come see them or they come visit you but i do feel like this is something that is just 
beginning and just starting. So you guys are in the dating phase, but you just feel like you've just known this person forever. Like you've been dating them maybe for like a week or a month or three months, but you feel like you've been with them for like years because it's just a strong soul level. So I do feel like spirit is spirit's advice is to keep moving forward and know that you're headed in the right direction. You're like I said, you're not crazy. This is very a very significant relationship. This is something very important. This is something that um, is very spiritual and very destined to come together. Like you were destined to meet this person. Um, I am getting here also that your dreams can come true with this person. It just needs more time. It's just kind of in the beginning phase. Even if you've known this person forever, like for years and years and years, like, I just feel like this is a, a renewed sense of like realizing like, this is your person, like this connection, you can never break. It's something that it will always be strong. It's like grounded in soul, like love, like just, I can't even express to you. Like, it's just so grounded in like your soul. Like, like this is your person. Like you can't really see in this card, but like their trees, like these two people are kissing in their trees, but like the roots are so deep. Like you just have such strong, deep, like a strong rooted, deep connection with this person. Like, oh, okay. So yeah, um, so I am getting that and I am getting that more effort is required. Are you willing to give it? So this connection requires a change from you both. Let's just say that um, you both need to change. Like I was saying, I was getting like an in and out type of energy or just a very like, you know, you come together, you do the deed or you are just really passionate or you make out or you just come together and explore and enjoy each other's time for like, a day or a couple hours and then you may not hear from this person for a few days or a few weeks or something like that like there just needs to be and I do feel like it's because you both feel the intensity of this connection and it's possibly overwhelming it was overwhelming me when I was reading your cards like anytime I get like super like heady or foggy in my head like third eye I just getting like soul family soul connection twin flame soulmate type five so that was what I was getting so um I do feel like, yeah, so more more effort is required, uh, more change is required, because I do feel like there could be some, like, self-esteem, self-worth, self-value issues going on here from your person. They just need to be more in tune with their intuition, which I do feel like they are, or they have the opportunity to do so, because this is such a strong connection that it's required of them. Um, they're just, and I also feel like they just need to communicate this, that's could be causing like the that could be where the effort is like there needs to be communication about how strong this connection is how strong they feel for you so I do feel like it's up to them whether they're do it or not I do feel like you both are going to meet up going to be very passionate with each other um going to explore going to like enjoy just time together now it's up to them whether they will express how they really feel because I do feel like they keep their feelings a secret from you because they just feel like you don't feel the same way or they don't feel worthy of it or they just feel like they um have a fear of abandonment a fear of rejection when it comes to like relationship stuff so they could just be like I said they could be afraid that you don't feel the same way that you just want to like you know not be with them all the time like they just feel like you're gonna leave them eventually or something or you're gonna abandon them like just some things they need to work through so it could like I don't know if they're gonna be ready to communicate quite yet but you are gonna spend time with this person again if you have and, and you're wondering when you're gonna see this person again you will very much see this person again um you're always connected to this person as well so there's a lot of mirroring going on this is your person like I can't stress that enough so you are always connected to this person. You, I feel like for some of you, you could feel that this person is like has some issues of terms of like self worth, self value. Like you've seen it, like glimpses of it. They may not share it or show it a lot, but you get glimpses of it with certain things they say or certain things they do. And you could have had that issue in the past, or you could still be working through that issue, or you could still have it as well. But you relate to this person like on all fronts I feel even if you haven't discovered how much you really relate to this person you will discover it because this is your person because this is your soulmate and this is like a destined relationship like the universe spirit has its hands all through this relationship but I don't think they're ready to communicate this yet they just feel a lot for you and I also feel like it was love at first sight when they met you like this person just has such strong feelings for you but there has to be like, like, I don't know, for some of you, if you haven't just met this person and you've been with this person for, you know, a long time, 
um, there's just like a reevaluating of goals and a and a review of your goals and a review of like if you're still committed to this person, if you still feel this connection, this deep connection with this person. And I feel like something might transpire where maybe you were just like, I don't know if I still like this person or I don't know if this isn't going anywhere. This isn't growing. This isn't, you know, moving as fast. This person is still dealing with a lot. That could be something. And then something's going to happen where it's just like you can't deny that this is your person like you can't deny this is your soulmate that you're supposed to be with this person it just requires a change of perspective it requires um a a deeper connection to your spirituality because this is very soul heavy like like this is like a soul lesson a soul contract this is something that is is more than just you both coming together and living happily ever after this is something that is very like lessons need to be learned soul growth evolvement awakening consciousness meditation intuition very intuitive you both are very intuitive and i feel like this is a person who's no like very much your soulmate but here to teach you how to trust your intuition how to listen to your intuition and not other people's opinions about the relationship if you've known this person for a very long time because i feel like other people can kind of get in your head about it and you forget how connected you are to this person you forget how like deep this connection is how strong and how like deeply rooted this connection is because of other people's opinions about it because maybe it's just gone through like it's very in and out it's very inconsistent it's very just you know you come together you do the deed and then you don't hear from each other for a long time and then it lowers your self-esteem and it lowers your or you just feel bad and you just feel lonely but this is this but you it's like you're not lonely because this person is always with you but physically you feel lonely because they're not with you because they're such they're so in and out of your life if you know what i'm saying like I just feel like this this is just kind of such a strong passionate relationship and it just takes a lot of spiritual growth. It takes a lot of spiritual muscle to 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 remember that, to keep this going because it is going somewhere. Um this person thinks about you a lot. I do feel like music. This person could be like a musician or be like really um into music and just like certain songs remind them of you and they just think about you so much i do feel like this person you know if this person is in and out or it's just moving kind of slow for you or it's just kind of like you just really don't know whether or not this is something that you really want to commit to and like have a future with this person because they've been so inconsistent and because maybe they're dealing with a lot of financial issues or they're just unstable um whether it be mentally spiritually or physically um where was i going with this um this person it's not they weren't in and out because they don't feel the same way they definitely feel everything that you feel it's because this person needs to work on their own stability is why they leave because they just know that this is like the real deal with you that they want to be as stable as possible and they're not and they haven't been and so them working on their finances them working on their self-worth and their value is what's kind of i don't want to say like holding the relationship back from moving forward in a like a very consistent and and you know pace but like it's just keeping this it's just what's taking time you know it just takes patience when it comes to this relationship definitely takes patience like i said especially spiritual patience it takes this person so um i do believe that the advice from spirit i would say is to just keep meditating keep focusing on your desired outcome with this person keep making courageous um commitment to take more practical steps towards this connection because i do feel like it's very passionate it needs to be more practical you're in the practicality with this five of coins here at the bottom is not like the best practical card um it needs there needs to be movement plans there needs to be like uh like a change of the thinking like your thinking needs to change instead of um because I just feel like it's 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 very it's always gonna be very deep soul like passionate that's you know that's a given but the practicality of it needs to be reviewed needs to be worked on and they're working on their finances I am hearing that and so you need to work on maybe just grounding the spiritual knowledge that you know because I do feel like you know a lot more spiritually and intuitively maybe work on trusting your intuition like I was saying in the beginning about this connection and work on like just yeah just trusting your intuition grounding yourself 
however that means because I do feel like you could maybe get a little airy or heady in your head about it or very dreamy and like not take the practical steps and then you're wondering why this isn't moving forward um so you both have work to do when it comes to this relationship they're working on their finances their self-worth their value you could be working on the same thing but also work on meditation and like focus and like you know knowing that the situation is has is full of potential like don't give up on it because for some of you I do feel like you felt like giving up because it just wasn't moving moving it was stagnant and this person is just kind of all over the place or just very unstable but it's it's I don't want to say it's you it's like you hold the power and the key to this connection the more that you can stabilize your intuition and listen to your intuition and trust it and know that this is a strongly deeply rooted soulmate connection that has a lot of potential to be what you want it to be despite what you see the more that this will kind of move I mean it's already moving but it'll move a little faster if you know what I'm saying um I do feel like you just don't want to be with this you don't want to be with anybody else and this person doesn't want to be with anybody else but I don't know if that's been discussed you know what I'm saying and this person I do feel like needs your support like you are this person's muse like you are the reason this person wakes up you are the reason this person wants to continue to work on themselves and move forward like this person just can't stay away from you and you find it hard to stay away from this person as well even if you are at a distance from this person like and even if you don't communicate with this person consistently this person is like always thinking about you like always wants you always needs you doesn't want to be with anybody else um there just needs to be like a, a shift in perspective from both of you and a shift in like your sp- spiritual connection between within yourself and within this connection like I just feel like there's there's just some work that needs to be done and it's just not there yet some spiritual work but this is a very positive reading it's a very positive relationship very positive omen even if it hasn't shown up as to be as positive because of like some insecurities or some financial problems and stuff it is it has like I said a lot of potential it, it's it's a very empowering connection like you both empower each other whether you realize it or not to do better and to want to be better for each other though so it just it just takes this relationship just takes planning it takes action and it just takes focus basically spiritual focus and practical focus um but I do see like you both need to figure out like you both like I said like focus figure out where you want to go do you believe you'll get there? It's all about your beliefs. So this person, I don't know. I just feel like this person is kind of stuck in this five of coins. Not saying they don't believe, but they're just stuck in this mentality that they are going to be rejected by you. Like they don't, almost like they don't deserve you or they don't deserve this type of connection. Or they're just wondering like how this is even possible when they're so like, when they have no, no money. It's like this person ties their self-worth to practical things money work job all that stuff and if that's not going well with them then they just kind of you don't hear from them and then they just kind of get down on themselves now I do feel like you always like I said have a spiritual connection with this person like your souls are always connected so you could speak telepathically with this person and you could get telepathic messages that this person isn't doing as well as maybe they portray to you sometimes when it comes to financial stuff or just grounded stuff this person could be like you know almost on the verge of being homeless or like living in a hotel or something like that just something something about this person is just unstable but they just have so much passion for you and they just have so much like 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 love with you like they just don't want to be with anybody else like this person fantasizes a lot about you I do like this person has a lot of sexual attraction to you a lot of sexual thoughts about you but it just needs to be there needs to be some action-oriented plans here I can't stress that enough um for the desired outcome for you both to have and I do feel like the desired outcome is for you both to move with move in with each other move in together move abroad just be together just enjoying time together like every day on a consistent basis so whatever you decide you know you're on the right track whatever you know guided efforts that whatever efforts you're guided to make you're on the right track listen to your intuition your intuition knows everything about this relationship and 
everything about how it's gonna go why it came about you need to get more in tune with your intuition you both do to be completely honest um because this is such like a strong like i said such a strong connection so you both need to just get really in tune with your intuitive emotional side if this person is apart from you they can't stand being apart from you like i said like this person just oh my god i can't stress this enough like i just get like a love like they just love being around you they love being with you you make this person so happy i feel like this person watches your social media they just want to be involved with you they love seducing you they're just so attracted to you they just find you so attractive and they just think about you all the time or if they have picture pictures of you if you send this person pictures like i said did i say that in the beginning i think i did they look at pictures of you all the time they just can't get enough of you like you just and i think you're just really unaware maybe you you know intuitively like that this person finds you so attractive and is so passionate about you but the practical side of it you don't see because this person is going through a transition is going through a change is going through a place where they're not that stable so you can't really see it but this is definitely a very very a strong love connection that defines explanation like no matter you can't explain it through logic you can only explain it through soul heart intuitive stuff so if anyone even tries to tell you about this relationship just based on what they see which is fair because even what you see within this connection you're just like i don't know if this is really gonna happen because it's just kind of like you just know like we have such a strong connection and we and i know we love each other and maybe you've said it but you haven't said it in a way where it really expresses how you're both feeling because you both have a fear of rejection or you both have a fear of abandonment or you both are fearing how strong this connection is and what that means like i just fear there's a little bit of fear around here around you both around this connection because your emotions and your feelings are so strong for each other but like i was saying like like don't listen to other people because i don't know i'm getting that message like other people are like telling you what this relationship is or maybe telling you like this person doesn't care this person can't give you what you want and that may be true right now they can't give you like a home or like money maybe they could they just don't feel good enough doing it they just feel like it's not enough you know what i'm saying so this person just needs to feel enough before they can really dive into this relationship they want to apologize for you know everything they want to apologize for coming in and out of your life it, like i said in the beginning it's not because they don't love you or they don't feel this strong connection with you it's just because they don't they're having a hard time loving themselves they're having a hard time like really feeling worthy of this connection really feeling worthy of a future with you really feeling worthy of like i feel like this person just has so many like ideas and dreams of what they want to have what they've always wanted to have with a person and you fit all of that and it's just scaring them because they just don't feel good enough right now like i said this is a transition so they just need to tap into their spiritual knowledge and know that it's all worked out it's already taken care of like they just need to believe in themselves you both need to believe in yourselves you both need to believe in this connection stop letting doubts and fears kind of clog it up because this is really beautiful and it has a lot of potential but it's up to you what you do with it it's up to you how you maneuver this how you move forward with it like this is just yeah it's just it's really up to you but they are sorry for like making you feel like you're not good enough or like they don't feel the same way or just for being in and out like i saying or just not being the person that you deserve like not being that person yet that you deserve like they're working on it they really are um and they need you but they just don't feel they're, they're, they're just kind of worried that maybe you've changed your mind about the way that you feel about them like they you just deserve the best and they're just a, they're just this person just has a fear of rejection honestly like that is like the major thing here and just a fear of like abandonment and they're sorry about that and they just want to do better by you and you just deserve the best and they're trying I am getting that and they just want to be involved with you they want to commit to you they want a connection with you you are their soulmate you are their muse you make them so happy when they're with you and they just want to explore the world with you they want to travel with you they want to move in together they want to move with you to like they want to have the, they have all these ideas about a big house and stuff like that but this is a very spiritual connection and it takes a lot of spiritual muscle a lot of spiritual spiritual work for this to really come together and there's still like i said there's still a lot of work that needs to be done you're just not there yet but you are on your way so 
continue doing what you're doing continue to listen to your intuition about any steps that you feel you need to take when it comes to this connection even if it means giving this person a break and taking some time apart or just you know you focusing on your own passions you focusing on what makes your heart sing and and all that stuff and just allow this to breathe and allow you both to grow and to evolve and to work on yourselves and work on your spiritual connection with spirit and stuff like that even if that take even if that's what you're guided to do like listen to that intuition because it will it's always it's leading you both to come together at some point in time it's just not there yet but it is gaining that momentum so um yeah that's really really beautiful it's a really positive read like i said it's it's really it's really positive so i'm going to leave it here i hope this was helpful i hope that this made sense to you or gave you some clarity and some guidance um i want to say thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys so much and um i will talk to you guys later take care okay my pile four so if you chose the sun emoji this is your reading for what is next for you in love and okay so the first thing i'm getting here is that there is some type of release some type of old energy leaving and some new energy coming in that is very childlike you could be having kids with this person or want to have kids with this person or you could already have kids with this person but i do feel like for most of you this is more like an inner child type of energy where it's just like a lot of like a youthful energy in your connection very just um free-spirited fun light-hearted but also very honest and very true and very sincere connection so any old stuff that you've been going through you know whether it's even with this person it could be just releasing an old partner an old ex it's just time to clear your energy and free yourself from that past free yourself from the past whether it's energy whether it's um emotional connection you had to someone in the past a spiritual connection it's time to free yourself and be open to new possibilities with this person even if in the past with this person you've had some challenging times um it's time to be open to new things with this person um i also am getting that this person wants you to reach out to them so they're waiting for you to kind of communicate with them or reach out to them in some sh way shape or form you guys could both have a spiritual connection with each other so you both could be telepathically communicating and i don't know i feel like maybe you could be hearing that they do want to reach out to you or that they're just kind of missing you or they just want to get together again of some sort i do feel like this person wants you with like their entire soul like this person misses you and like wants that you have the ten of cups and the ace of wands with the high priestess so this is definitely a very high spiritual connection this is something that they want some type of happy conclusion within the relationship and i do see some type of happy conclusion coming about in this relationship in terms of like what's happening next and a new passionate beginning for def for some of you definitely like if you want kids kids it's definitely on the table like you could be getting pregnant soon so be careful with that if you don't um if not about kids it's just a new passionate really it's just a new passionate like a renewed passion a renewed energy a new spark within your connection just new like you guys could just be having a lot of like intimate time you know what i'm saying like a very a lot of bedroom time if you don't want kids but just this this is a new spark that's happening between you both in terms of your connection so with your oracle cards here we have emotions are running high and it's a super moon so definitely you both especially this person is is very like very like emotionally like overwhelmed like they need to express themselves they need to like tell you how they feel like they're just they're just emotionally like oh my gosh like they're just ready to express and pour out how they're feeling and i feel like they've been keeping it in for quite some time with the high priestess here the high priestess is very secretive very knowledgeable very intuitive but doesn't really reveal a lot especially with the ten of cups i don't think they've revealed how much they see you as their happy union as this happy union as this person is that is uh as this person as their like ultimate emotional fulfillment soulmate divine counterpart type of connection that they actually want to build a family with and have a family with if that's something that you want as well like they haven't discussed that 
Um, and I do feel like this person is going to make a genuine effort to show you how much they are really serious and how much they really want to be with you, how much they really want to build with you, how much you make them happy. And just this, I'm just, yeah, I was getting this person is very genuine. So I do feel like you need to release something. You need to release the past in some way. You need to take back control of your life. If you want to be with this person, you're more than willing, you're more than you can be with this person is basically what spirit is saying like there's nothing stopping you but your ties to the past so you need to free yourself and allow yourself to be like a child and just explore and be happy and be free because i do feel like this person makes you happy and you have missed this person and maybe you have been like telepathically communicating with this person that you want to get together that you want to be with them and stuff like that um yeah, I just feel like you've been keeping, this person's just been keeping a lot of stuff inside because they don't know how to express it to you, but they want to talk to you. So communication is definitely on the table in terms of what's happening next within your connection within this love because they want to express to you how much they actually want you, how much they want to be with you and talk about maybe how in the past they had a fear of rejection or they just were dealing with some childhood wounds that they needed to heal and maybe you can relate because you're still dealing with some childhood wounds but I feel like this person was had a fear of rejection had a fear of abandonment in some way but this person wants to commit to you and I feel like this person has always been committed to you whether or not you both are in separation right now or not together or just whatever your situation is this person is committed to you like emotionally spiritually and just passionately this person is has always been committed to you expressing it has been the issue but they're ready to show you genuine genuine effort so you can expect some really good things um from this person something exciting is coming um it's a resolution to the to a question that you've had about this person is coming they're going to answer your question and it's going to be yes i want to be with you yes i want to build with you yes i want this new start with you yes i want to have a family with you or whatever you whatever your question is it's a yes basically um there's just a lot of opportunities this person is bringing there's a lot of opportunities coming into your love life now if you have like i do feel like for some of you, you have no one like you're like you just broke up with someone or you've been single for a long time you releasing all the stuff and all the past emotions and relationships that you've been with that haven't worked out is going to help you to free yourself take back control of your life and be open to this new abundant beginning there's like a brand new beginning right at your doorstep and you're almost complete with something but there's just needs to be some clearing of your energy for it to be fully complete because super moons is all about completion it's all about um uh just like the closest it's like the closest point to the earth a full moon is and it's just like the the super moon is like a queen of emotions so there's some emotions that you're holding on to that you don't need to anymore and i don't know i just feel like you can expect your feelings to be like to be heard so if you need to express your feelings to someone if you need to write a letter to an ex or someone something you need to release like they're gonna be heard it's gonna free you you speaking your emotions either to this person or you know in a letter and then burning it or just out loud to a friend or to yourself is going to free you going to make you more open and more like youthful spirited about the love moving forward whether it's with this person or someone new so definitely there's gonna be like a new start here with you and i do feel like it's it's possibly with a person from your past um doesn't have to be for some it could just be a new person that's been in your life but maybe you've been holding on to like an ex or a hope that an ex is gonna come back and you're just kind of like been in this in between and you just maybe have been feeling restricted or maybe an ex has been in, in and out of your life still and you're dating someone new who's really great but you haven't fully committed to this because maybe this person this new person hasn't expressed and you're still holding on to old feelings for your old person and it's just like that could be something that's going on too it's just you need to clean it up it's time to like clean it up clear it up and move forward express your truth stop holding in your emotions this person also needs to stop holding in their emotions they're gonna express to you or both of you could be doing it at the same time i do feel like possibly the feminine energy is going to express their feelings first but the masculine is like right behind it or like whoever whatever you resonate with more in terms of masculine and feminine doesn't matter but um 
there's going to be an expression of like true unconditional love like ten of cups type of love like that emotional and spiritual fulfillment like that new passion that emotional like that feeling like you found your home type of connection like there that needs to be expressed so um yeah I do feel like you're just gonna get the answers that you're looking for success is coming something is going to be really successful this relationship is going to be very successful um it's just oh excuse me it's just it's like right there it's like right under your nose I feel like it's like right around the corner to be completely honest with you like this thing is like right around the corner there's just this little release thing like this last step like I said you're out of completion with this last step and as soon as you release this like last step or this this energy this overwhelming emotional type of energy and you free yourself you're going to find yourself in a in a commitment very very soon very fast very serious everything that you've ever wanted you're going to feel like home with this person you're going to feel at home with this person you're going to just start a whole new love journey a new love cycle with either this person from your past or a new person um so yeah, there's just a lot of energy. I am so I'm feeling like a lot of energy from this person or a lot of energy coming in. There's just going to be a lot of positive things, a lot of positive outcomes, positive energy, just really good things coming your way when it comes to love. Like and just a lot of emotion too, a lot of emotions to deal with. So, you know, you're going to be expressing a lot of emotions whether it's to an ex to this new person, both honestly like you're just going to be expressing a lot of emotion soon so be aware of that but it's going to free you to be open to the relationship that you want it's going to free you to opportunities that you want like you just have to trust trust yourself trust that once you release this once you express yourself however you're feeling to whoever you want to express yourself to it's going to free you and open you up to a whole new type of relationship that you could you know ever dream of so it's really, really positive to see. But definitely there's someone that's already committed to you, that just misses you, that um, just wants you to release some energy. Wants you to. I think this person feels that you're still holding on to something from the past, whether it's with them or someone in the past. Like you're still holding on and they just want you to release it because they want to be with you in a in a very serious new way this person is very much committed to you they still need to work on like expressing their love for you because they keep it on the inside but they want you with their entire soul like they can't stop thinking about you they just they want you to they want you to be okay they want you to be okay with them they want you to be free they want you to be yourself this person i do feel accepts you for who you are or wants to accept you for who you are for accept everything about you like acceptance like i'm getting a heavy acceptance here but you need to release some energy you need to release some like you need to clear your energy of of something from the past definitely so that is what i see for you of what's next in your love life just a brand new passionate start a, you for some of you, you could be moving in with this person or moving home very soon with this person like i just see the ultimate emotional fulfillment an ultimate love connection an ultimate soulmate like love like union coming together here as soon as you express those emotions because i do feel like for a lot of you you're very emotional or just overwhelmed emotionally because of this person because of the past with this person or maybe just your past in general like take what resonates this is general but there needs to be an expression and a freeing of yourself so that you can have this ultimate fulfillment like i'm super jealous this is like really really positive there's like a strong soul connection you have going on whether it is from this person and in the past this person that you need to release or a new person but you have a strong soul connection that is waiting for you to be open to for it to come in so i am going to leave it here i hope this helped and i hope this gave you some clarity or some guidance that you could use if not you can check out another one of my piles i want to say thank you so much for watching i love you guys so much and i will talk to you guys later take care